Okay, this is on the Mortensen job, number 53463, installed on 314 by Aaron. Um, and this is a basement finish. We're adding six supplies, three return airs, and an exhaust fan. Okay, so if you come down the stairs, We've got the furnace room, the back of the furnace right here. <clears throat> um, we have duct coming this way, supply going the other way, return air here. And it's this is not framed yet the way it's going to be. So I'll have to tell you how it's going to be framed. Okay, so this is the furnace room um, right here. It's going to be a bathroom. So they're going to come here and put a door here. And um, in the bathroom, we're just going to cut a 4x10 sleeve, 2 inches tall, into the bottom of the duct. So they're going to have, you know, their toilet like right here. Um, so I told them we'll just cut our sleeve in wherever it works best. Um, a couple feet from the wall, you know, but not right in front of the toilet. So, um, we're going to vent the bathroom fan too. So I figure they're going to have to drop down this whole ceiling, you know, at least, um, down to the gas line, you know, and they got this. So we'll just run the four inch vent flex and drop it down over the toilet. You know, drop it down so the plumber could put it on each, or the electrician could put his fan on either side. Then hop up and out to a four inch dryer vent. <coughs> okay, so. <clears throat> in this room this is going to be just one big open room um we're going to put i wrote them on the ceiling i'm going to put a seven inch in this space um four by twelve angle boot over here and to do that um this existing we're going to have to scoot it over a little bit and put a seven inch top take off. And I did give you a patch so you can patch the top of that. <clears throat> okay. Um, they do have a big return air already right here. So we're not adding a giant return. We're just adding transfers in the other bedrooms. <clears throat> um, so also, we have a six inch in this area. So I did give you a 14 by 14 flat to cut out the bottom. And this one actually has a vent in it, but you can't come in this one cause that's return air. So cut out the bottom and you know, you have seven inches. So hopefully back here they cut their <laughs> bent out but worst case scenario you'll have to just scoot that over a little bit <clears throat> i give you a few extra 90s to just in case you need to <coughs> <coughs> do something anyway so that's going to go all the way and um over this window this is going to be a bedroom they're going to have a wall somewhere here and the doorway somewhere here. Um, we're gonna put a transfer air here. So a 14 by six, a flat grill, high. And then on the other side, we're gonna put a 14 by eight baseboard grill low. Okay, this room's gonna be an open room. It's not gonna be a bedroom or anything, but it will be open to this hallway. <clears throat> um, and we're going to have a 
a uh, six inch, a four by 10 by six center in this window. To get it there, you're gonna have to come out 90 over and just 90 center in the joist, whatever it will be. And you can cut a six inch hole through it. And this is what the homeowner wants to do rather than doing what they've done over here. Um, cut it through and then run six inch all the way over. And this one's gonna be kind of tricky. Um, and I guess you cut, could cut through two floor joists if you don't want to deal with it, but this one actually comes off right on top of the plenum, but they ran it crooked. So if you can kind of see, it's against the joist right here, but over here it's against this joist, so they've just ran it crooked. <coughs> So, you're going to have to cut your heat vent. Let me just cut it through here. The front of the furnace, you're going to have to cut it here. I'll give you a 14 by 14 patch. And then reach up inside and cut out the top of it. And you're going to have to use the existing. Put the existing one to where your new one is so it runs straight. And your new one will um, <laughs> run all the way over <laughs> down <clears throat> and do that. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, yeah, the reason I didn't do this side is because that's return air. But it is just a header here, so, yeah. <clears throat> okay, anywho. Um, so that's the, so then if you come back here, um, here they're going to have, this is going to be a bedroom, and that's going to be a bedroom. Okay, so this bedroom has a trunk line coming down. All we're going to do is we're going to cut a 4x10 hole in the bottom of the uh, duct. And, um, and that's it. They're actually going to probably patch it. When they sheetrock it, they're going to put the grill on, but patch it so it doesn't work. Just so when they sell the house, it could be sold as a bedroom. But with that, we also need a transfer grill. So we're gonna put a trans, sorry, no transfer grill in this room. This one is actually going to get a six inch round at the end of the end cap. And then you want to kind of 45 over and then put a piece of metal right here. I gave you a 16 by 16 flat metal and cut your whole, um, into the metal, you know, is right against the joist, and because they won't have this wall built that way, uh, when they frame it, they could just secure the metal to the studs <clears throat> and then put a uh, 14 by 8 baseboard grill low. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then just take a vent up the top, go to a six inch top takeoff over here. And over in this bedroom, you will have a transfer grill, 14 by six high here, and one low in this room. Okay. Um, so one more thing to consider. Um, in the future, he maybe wants to put a washer and dryer in here. And he's also going to change his water heater to a um, direct vent. So two 90% water heaters. And so I was telling him that you need four feet from your flues to a dryer. 
which you have it if you put your dryer right here. So when you run your bathroom exhaust fan, kind of run it over, you know, so they can still get a dryer in the very corner if they have to. And then their water heater flues in the future, they'll have to come over, hop up, and then out that wall. Um, and is that it? I think that's it. Thanks.